Good afternoon to everyone. This is Tractor Man 44. A um, couple of things i got to come clean to. Um, all along I've been referring to uh, to this thing here as a Clark. You know, I had Clark on the brain, you know. Uh, sometimes, you know, you you just get something in your mind and, and for some reason you, you just know that it's right and hot dang it, it ain't right at all. Um, you ain't going to believe this. This ain't even a Clark. I didn't even didn't even pay attention to it. I was just convinced that I knew that's what it was. Hell, it's a general. Take a look at this. You can read it plain as day right there. Man, it's a general. But no matter. I'm going to go ahead and uh, dust it off, clean it up a little bit. I actually started uh, dusting that aluminum uh, housing off already. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and clean that motor up just a little bit more. And um, hopefully this afternoon, my daughter gets home from her, uh, from her project she's got going on. Might take this down to her house and, and pull the trigger on it and see what's going to happen. I do have a bit of trepidation about a few things. Um, let me give you an idea of what I'm thinking about. First and foremost, I think uh, the tendency is going to be with this thing rotating direction it's rotating. It's going to have a tendency as it's going around in a circle to work backwards on the threads of these uh, of these bolts. So what I've done, I've taken a center punch. I've taken a center punch and I've driven some pretty severe punches at two sides on those bolt threads there so that hopefully it'll kind of lock it in place. I was unable to put lock washers under because lock washers are uh, a sixteenth of an inch thick or even possibly a little bit thicker and I would have to cut the nuts down too thin and I didn't think there'd be enough strength left in just a two or three threads on the nut to hold everything in place securely. So I opted to do it this way. Now if this does spin loose and my little uh, pin punches, if uh, my little center punch just do you know just kind of give way and ain't no big deal all I'm gonna do is put a little blob of MIG weld right on the edge of each one and whenever these things have to be changed I just put new bolts in and uh, take my little hand grinder and grind the MIG weld off spin the nut off you know throw the nut and bolt away make a new set and put new uh, new grinding wheels on that's the first bit of trepidation I have the second bit of trepidation is the amount of weight of this whole machine being exerted on just the square area surface of um, the square inch area surface of these four wheels. <clears throat> if you figure the area of that 16 inch circle uh, and then all that weight depending on uh, depending on how much this thing weighs that's going to be so many pounds per square inch being exerted downward on this entire surface. Okay now I've got 25 percent of that total amount of weight on each one of these bearing surfaces. So it could gouge down and grind way too aggressively or it may not work at all and in which case I'm already planning on uh, probably putting four more if I'm lucky enough to find this exact same brand put four more on there which is going to uh, to double the amount of surface area that I've got to disperse the weight of that machine uh, to keep it from grinding so aggressive but uh, time will tell you know we're gonna spray a little water on the floor and pull the trigger and see what's gonna happen that's what the plan is anyway so I got my face mask on and um, don't want to breathe that all that rust and everything you know and all that debris all that aluminum uh, all that aluminum stuff that's going to grind off of there and then the rust off of this here but we just hit this a lick or two and kind of clean her up a little bit if y'all have any any, uh, any concern about using one of these without eye protection uh, let me tell you those little wire wheels break off of there and they'll embed themselves a, a sixteenth of an inch deep right into your finger, uh, right into your, your wrist. Sometimes you get it in the chin or whatever. So one of those things that penetrates your eyeball without even thinking about it. So uh, I'm, not a big, um, I'm not a big safety knots or anything like that. You know, I, I believe that, that we take our own chances. We try to be responsible for our own stuff. But uh, I, I would recommend always uh, using at least a face shield, safety glasses or something to protect your eyes with these guys right here. They are brutal when they come flying off of this. Okay, zoom in on this puppy and take a look. Boy, you can just see plain as day, can't you? General. Look right there, even in, in uh, bedded in the cast aluminum housing. <laughs> General, big as could be. Up on top, the red name tag on the very top. General, just big as could be. Uh, look, up on the handlebars, way up top up there. Dead center of the wires general big as could be i cannot believe i was calling this a clark that whole time oh well 
it is what it is. Uh, he ain't going to change it. He is definitely not a clerk. It is a general. And um, don't matter, man. I'm ready to transport this to the daughter's house. So. Now, what I did, I went ahead and brought this on down to the daughter's basement. And um, we kind of, <clears throat> we were a little tenuous at, at first uh, because we really didn't, under, didn't know what to expect. So uh, we didn't go really, really hard and heavy. Uh, just kind of played with it a little bit, you know, and and uh, tried to figure out the best way to make it make it work. So uh, she's putting a little bit of water uh, here and there, you know, and and uh, here in just a little bit, you'll see it get going really quite well. But uh, there was one problem, and that was just slathering water all over the place. But uh, I'll show you what we did to uh, solve that issue uh, to keep us from getting all over the walls. Now what you're looking at here is uh, the, the next day. I just went down for, you know, a half hour the night before and, and kind of played with it and kind of got uh, used to the machine and how it's going to pull on you and everything, you know. And so uh, today, you know, we come down to, to get halfway serious about getting a, uh, a pretty good start on, on the floor. So um, one of the major things that we made a change with is if you take a look around the perimeter of that thing, uh, you see black duct tape. And what I did, uh, we made a skirt out of some uh, couple thicknesses of plastic so that, uh, and duct taped it on there all the way around to keep it from slinging the, the, the water and that the grinding, the concrete grindings, up against the wall. She was having to spend too much time, just that little bit of time uh, we did yesterday grinding, she had to spend too much time cleaning up the, uh, cleaning up the wall. So that solved that issue just really, really quick. Yeah, like I said, whenever uh, we got started on this, we were going kind of, kind of gingerly because didn't really know what to expect. Um, I didn't know if it was going to do any, uh, you know, damage to the machine or to the floor, or if it was going to get away from me and bash a hole into the drywall or whatever, you know. So we just wanted to take care. Um, but I did get my daughter uh, the opportunity to to try it for a few seconds, and uh, she wasn't real thrilled with it. So she handed it off really, really quick because uh, it just kind of pushed her all over the place. <laughs> we kind of got a chuckle out of that, but uh, no big deal, you know. She's uh, she likes to get her hands involved and and do stuff, you know. But uh, as as we progressed there, you know, after about a half an hour, or so we kind of got a little more brave, got a little more a lot more water on the ground, um, and really got pretty smooth with it. Now, um, unfortunately, I don't have I didn't have the time right now to continue on and completely uh, grind this down as smoothly as it needs to be done for the uh, the flooring we're going to put down. But uh, we got a good start, and at least we got an understanding how it's going to work, and uh, we know now for a fact that it is going to function uh, quite well. Um, this is uh, one of the rooms that, that has to be done. There's a, there's a hallway, and then also a bathroom, and then another uh, fairly large bedroom. But uh, all in all, we're just tickled to death so far with the, with, the, with the way the thing turned out. We're just happy as can be. Now, I guess I should have got down here and got a up close and personal uh, shot shot of uh, how nasty and how horrible that floor really started out. But uh, you can see we're getting really brave by the tail end of this. Uh, we're slinging around there and just going like crazy. And uh, it is doing a, an absolute perfect job. We are not dis we are not disappointed at all. Notice anything odd about that portion of the workbench? That, um, it's that, uh, took that, that general floor buffing machine down to the daughter's house this afternoon. You saw a few minutes of it, um, on the very first time we turned it on, put a little water on the floor and did a little scrubbing and uh, actually I'm quite quite happy with the results. Those, those diamond wheels started cutting off those grooves really, really fairly nicely. Um, now I will go ahead and I've got to do that entire area. There's close to, uh, there's going to be close to 1,200 square feet that we've got to grind down. Some of it's not quite so bad, some of it is really, really bad, but I'm totally convinced that it's going to work fine. Uh, it's going to take a little dedication with the with the wet vac, uh, and then keeping a little bit of water on the on the machine. But uh, in all in all, I'm really satisfied with how well how well it does. Uh, I was I had some concerns. I also checked the plates whenever or the uh, the grinding wheels whenever I got done or, or quit, um, and they were all just uh, tight as can be. Now after an hour or two hours of grinding, are they going to be loose? Possibly. If so, I'll fix them. Uh, but as far as actually Cutting the surface of that rough concrete down, I give it a Siskel and Ebert's two thumbs up. I think it's going to do just fine. Um, so at any rate, hey, this draws an end to the general floor buffing machines conversion to diamond grinding wheel.
for the daughter's basement. And you know what? This is Tractor Man 44. I am out of here.